everybody, I'm Elise Explosion and I am here with you today for a little bit of a different video. Uh, not one that I do super frequently, but one I'd like to do a little bit more frequently, and that is a favorites video. Um, I've been looking around and I'm like, man, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm like really vibing with right now, and I want to share it with everybody, but it's not stuff that would normally go in like my regular videos, so why not just make one dedicated to it? So the first thing is actually the dress that I'm wearing right now. This is uh, from a company called Holly Tea Time. Now I actually, I ordered this on Black Friday and it got here maybe three weeks ago, beginning of April, it, it got here, right? For posterity, it is uh, May, 1st. May 1st right now. Uh, so this got here maybe like first, second week of April, but they are made to order and it is extremely comfortable very soft very stretchy fabric and the print is really cool to me it's got like flying eyeballs and moons and bats and little drippy pastels in the background very 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 much my style a little bit more pastel than i usually go but i think it's very appropriate for the springtime and it just goes with every black article of clothing that i own so uh, like I said, the brand's Holly Tea Time. They do a bunch of different patterns and they have a very good size range. They do dresses, they do shirts, they do art prints and pins and a bunch of other stuff. Everything's custom made, everything's made to, or I don't know if it's custom made, but everything is made to order. So if you need something, don't you don't have to worry about them not having your size because it'll be made for you. Yeah, it's like a print on demand kind of thing, but I, I like that concept because it means that I don't have to go to a website and see all of the two X's are sold out because I slept on it for too long. So that's thing the first. Thing the second is, I may have talked about these before, I'm not sure, uh, but at Walmart they have these Clear American drinks and Clear American sounds like a supervillain when you think about it for too long. Oh uh, yes, it's the Clear American's fault. But these are like... 69 cents right which is very nice and you can they have a million different flavors so it is a flavored sparkling water beverage with other natural flavors which is a long way of saying it's like a clear diet soda uh and they have a million different flavors like this one right here this is orange and cream they have cherry limeade, they have cotton candy, they have Fuji apple, they have black cherry, they have strawberries and cream, they have a bunch of them. Yeah, and I, I have to stress, this is not seltzer. It's sweetened. There is flavor to it. It does not just taste bitter, which is why I like it. Um, if you have been around the channel for a long, long time, you may remember the Elise versus Sarah where we taste tested all of those seltzers and every single one of them just tasted like carbonation to me. Uh, hated that. This is so much better, in my opinion, because, dancing. yeah, there's just, there's flavoring in it. Now, the sweetener is aspartame, so if you have an aspartame allergy, do not. Don't, do, don't the do. Uh, but like I said, my favorites are the orange and cream. I really like the Fuji apple. The one Walmart by my apartment has cotton candy, which is my all time favorite. And I, I like it because I like drinking soda, but sometimes I want something a bit lighter. So therefore, orange and cream. Uh, like I said, clear, Amer clear American. <laughs> zero sugar, zero calories, zero caffeine, zero sodium per serving, zero point to the bottle. So yes, clear American, I like it. It's in like the back section by beverages. Thing the second should come as no surprise, but maybe on the scale. It's these little, I think these are like the five inch Squishmallows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love them. They're so tiny. They're so sweet. They're so squish. Uh, this one is Bella the Spider, but I do have a couple of the Axolotl in this size and a bunny. I actually got the bunny at like, it's like a tie dye rainbow bunny that I got at, oh, what's the, the restaurant with all the crap on the Cracker walls? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Yeah, the restaurant with all the crap on the walls. But I love these little guys. I think they're super duper cute. They're just like the perfect size to be a friend. They're a little bit too big to be scale with many of my dolls. Like they're, these are a little oversized for an American girl. If you want 
So pro tip, if you want a Squishmallow for your American Girl dolls, the keychain clips are the perfect size to be the analog for like the bigger ones of these. This, this is too big. This would be like the big guys. Yeah, this could be a jumbo on the bed for an American Girl, not like one that they would hug. I mean, I'd hug still me. hug it. I'd still hug it. I just really love Squishmallows, I'm, but I'm... I'm realizing that my space is pretty limited, so the smaller I can obtain, the better. Squish. So next up is this little micro bead pillow. And I had had better one when I was in college, but I didn't really have the opportunity to go like hands-on searching for one. I got this on Amazon. It was literally two dollars because I bought it used, which just means that somebody returned it. Um, it did not show signs of wear or use. It was still in the original package. It's just, they returned it to Amazon and Amazon was like, well, it's like a buck 50 now. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Uh, but I've been having a lot of really bad back problems. Like I'll wake up in the morning and my back is just like completely seized up. And that's trouble when I need to get up and go to work in the morning. So I found that if I put a bolster under my back, as I'm like starting to wake up in the morning, if I need to get up sooner rather than later, it really helps kind of like bend it back into shape almost. It's weird, I'm not entirely sure why. Advil works a lot better, but this is a big help and I'm glad to have it. It's, it's also, this would probably be pretty good for traveling uh, because it compresses down to a really nice dense sort of thing. So if I could be like leaning on like the back of uh, like a plane seat, or against a plane window, or like if I were on a bus, like if I were taking the Greyhound somewhere or a train, this would be really great to have with me. Um, especially because we do plan on doing some further traveling this year, uh, though we will be driving. But still excited to have this. And finally, my secret shame. So back in April, uh, Mr. Explosion and I went to Washington, D.C. to see the cherry blossoms. And I, in my infinite wisdom, decided to not take my sneakers with me because they were my work sneakers, they were pretty beat up, they were pretty smelly, they were not particularly appealing. I found another pair of shoes in my closet that I thought were going to work. Turned out they were way too narrow. I have a wide foot, and for a long time I did not come to grips with this. Uh, so, uh, by day one, and I had gone 21,000 steps, my feet were not happy with me. Uh, halfway through day two, when I was at probably about 15,000 steps at that point, a beacon from the sky appeared, and it was a TJ Maxx. So we went into the TJ Maxx, and we're looking at the shoes, and I found, like, a little pair of, like, slip-on sneakers that I was gonna get. And then my husband looks around and he goes, Elise, get the Crocs. And I was like, oh no. Now we watch a lot of uh, the Carpetbagger, Jacob the Carpetbagger, and he wears like exclusively Crocs on his travels. So he drives a lot, he walks a lot, he goes to different attractions all over the country. He's on his feet a yeah. lot. He's on his feet constantly in these Crocs. Now, unfortunately, the Crocs that they had at this TJ Maxx were rainbow tie-dye print. But I folks- I was gonna say incredibly ugly. That too. Folks, let me tell you, um, when I put these on, it was like a switch flipped and I could move again. They are so stupidly comfortable. They are cushy, they are wide, they offer support that I did not realize did not realize how comfortable these shoes actually were. And I, I do, like, I love the fact that they are rainbow tie-dye. Uh, I initially was wearing them with like the straps back, but my coworker told me that his kids said that he, that's what they call turbo mode. And it is not cool with the kids to wear the straps like that. So you gotta wear them in the front to make them like mules. Um, I don't understand that. I'm 35 years old. Uh, but they're, the one thing that I did not realize about Crocs, and this is this is me not really getting on a soapbox, but also like maybe maybe I stepped up one single platform. There's these like little textury bits on the inside of the Crocs, 
and they are, they're very like massaging, very comfortable, very nice. Uh, so they feel good to wear. I would get another pair of Crocs, but I think I might look into some of the other styles because they have ones that don't necessarily look like this, um, but offer the same amount of support and comfort. My friend Lisette has a lovely pair of flats that are made out of the same material and buy Crocs, but they're just simple, basic black flats, and those would be a lot more useful to me than rainbow tie-dye clogs. clogs. But they are garish. Yeah, they are, they are garish, they are possibly ostentatious, they are very over the top. The ultimate problem is, there's no pink. And there's a lot of pink. So it, it kind of clashes. I have to either wear all black or just like jeans. But anyway, friends, I think that's going to be it for this video. What have you been loving uh, the past couple months? You know, what's what's giving you life? What's giving you energy? What do you want to share? Uh, bleh. What do you want to share uh, with everybody in your life? Let me know in the comments down below. But I think that's going to be it, everybody. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing if you're interested in more favorites videos. I do have some. They're a bit old at this point. But I'd like to make this a more routine sort of thing. So, you know, you'll be seeing more. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later!